So today we'll be going over what I think are the best Team Affinity cards in Season 2, Chapter 2, and also cards that will be fitting possibly on my God Squad currently. So let's go ahead, let's go over this and see what we got going on in Season 2, Chapter 2, Team Affinity. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, be sure to like, follow, share, favorite the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on so you guys get notified when each video goes live. All right, for the AL East, we got Corbin Burns, Tanner Hoop, Juan Soto, Isaac Paredes, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Like, just by name-wise, you think Juan Soto be good. Corbin Burns be good. I think Corbin Burns is probably the better pitcher out of this mix. He's got the cutter, curveball, circle change up slider, sinker, 97 hits per nine, 98 walks per nine, 88 control. Like we don't have a lot of pitchers that are very, very good. So I don't even look at like the hits per nine or nothing like that or the Ks per nine. I will definitely give this guy a shot and a start on my God squad. Now, whether or he does good or not, I don't know, but he does have 109 pitching clutch. So when runners are in scoring position, there's going to be smaller PCIs, which that does make me like him just a little bit more. And he has break outliers, so he loses less break when tired. But honestly, I think my favorite card, like hitting-wise, is probably Juan Soto. But he's not going to fit my God Squad because my God Squad just doesn't fit the build. And he's just a slow fielder. He's a DH at best for me, at least, with 53 speed. But still a very, very good card and very usable if you want to use them with 125 clutch as well. Uh, Isaac Parade is very, very good. 40 speed, though, not going to fit my God Squad, but still a decent card. Could do very, very well for you. Does fit the Devers boost on lower dip. Uh, Vlad does not fit the Devers boost, so I don't like him as much, but he does have high contact already and decent enough power. So he could be very viable, but my best ones, my favorite ones are Isaac Paredes on this build because he can fit the Devers boost and Corbin Burns. Moving on to the NL East, we got Abram, Zach Wheeler, Pete Alonso, Tanner Scott, and Ronaldo Lopez. Now, Ronaldo Lopez doesn't have the pitch mix, so I'm not even going to be looking at him. Tanner Scott does fit in the bullpen, need a lot of good pitchers, throws a lefty. He's definitely going to fit in there. 125 hits per nine and 125 clutch he's a he's a must have in your bullpen he's a lefty he's got good hits per nine he's got good pitching clutch he's got a slider circle change up doesn't have a cutter but still very very good pete alonzo fits a devers boost for extra power however on higher difficulties just don't like them um but very good on lower difficulties all star below i think this card could be very very good uh zach wheeler four seam circle change change i uh, mean a uh, sinker cutter slurve and splitter great pitch mix High hits for nine, decent pitching clutch. Definitely going to give him an opportunity on the God Squad and see how he can do. Uh, CJ Abrams, good contact, decent power, good fielding, not quite enough speed for me at least. And there's just better shortstops out there, even second baseman. Not going to not gonna be a fit my team. AL Central, we got Crochet, Josh Naylor, uh, Tarek Skubal, Salvador Perez, and Carlos Correa. Out the gate, Salvador Perez is amazing. Has a great swing. Uh, I'm definitely going to give him a shot at catcher. Doesn't fit any of the team builds I have, but most catchers don't. Normally, I wild card my catcher or use like uh, Yasmani Grandal. A uh, little bit more speed with Salvi, though, which is nice. And like 106, 115 contact is really what I'm looking at right there, especially in higher difficulties. And he can also fit the Devers booth with 67 fielding, so that's good too. So you can get a power boost on the Devers boost. A uh, crochet, no quirks, four seam cutter, slider, circle change up, 93 hits per nine. I just don't like the no quirks. I think it would be kind of cool if he got outlier just for the heck of it, make it more usable, and just only the cutter and slider. It could work. Just Josh Naylor, not a good card, not enough contact for higher difficulties. Do not like this card. Uh, Tarek Skubal, sinker slider, uh, 95, 106 pitch and clutch. I might try him, but still, I think there's better options. I think the other lefty out of the bullpen is very good for out of the bullpen. As for starters, I just don't think he can get it done. And Carlos Correa, definitely my second pick besides Salvi here. Carlos Correa, very good right here. Uh, 108 clutch as well, so not too bad right there. 59 speed. Might fit the God Squad, but probably not my God Squad specifically for the build. All right, NL. We got uh, Imanaga, Ellie De La Cruz, Christian Yelich, Brian Reynolds, and Ryan Helsley. Now, this one is filled with good players. Christian Yelich is probably the best one out of here, but I love Brian Reynolds. Brian, Re Brian Reynolds' swing is just so good for me. But 121 clutch, 120, 110 contact easily the best card to pick out of here he doesn't fit my team build or my like my captain boost uh with corbin carroll but honestly if not every card on your team has to fit that and if i can use more wild cards for pitching 
that's a good thing. So he could fit my squad. I just don't know how he's going to do in left field. I like having a lot of speed in left and like the outfield and a lot and like good fielding and a reaction, which he does not have. So I just don't know he, if he's going to fit that squad for that reason. But with the bat, he's amazing. Maybe throw him in DH a couple times. To, that way I can use a different card, but still doesn't fit the boost. Now, Ellie De La Cruz, I know his vision's low. I know his clutch is low, which kind of hurts him, but he fits my team build. So he's definitely going to be on the God Squad somewhere. Might be on the bench eventually, but I mean, I get a, a plus 15 to contact on both sides, which makes this card amazing. He's, he's a switch hitter. He can play second, third and shortstop i just love this card even with the lower clutch put him in the bottom of the order like batting ninth or something and this card could be very very good going ninth and then have to go back to, and rounding out your uh lineup ryan reynolds 102 103 contact 95 94 power 106 clutch 67 speed and 71 fielding if also fits the devers boost see he doesn't fit like the god squad for me because the other brian reynolds i've been wild carding has a, um this one does not have the speed, so I just don't know if I'm going to be using this card, but I just love Brian Reynolds, so I do have one right now that fits my squad a little bit better. Uh, Imanaga, don't like his pitch mix, really, and 97 with 89 pitching clutch. Don't like the clutch at all, either. And then Ryan Helsley could be good, just doesn't have the pitch mix. Uh, I might try him out there with the 116 pitching clutch, 114 in his for nine. So you just blow it by him with outlier, but still four seam slider in curveball don't like the pitch mix off of him all right aos we got two bay tyler anderson mason miller logan gilbert and marcus simeon honestly out of these ones i think marcus uh tyler anderson not that good four seam circle cutter sinker slider has a great pitches does have pitching clutch though it, he could be decent but k's per nine scares me a little bit that he ain't gonna strike nobody out the control at 73 kind of scares me. Walks per nine's good. Uh, I might try him, but not my hopes are not high. Uh, Mason Miller, they took away uh, one of his pitches. So don't like this card either. Four seam slider circle change up. Just not going to get it done. Does have outliers like blow it by him. Ryan Helsley, I don't know. Logan Gilbert, 103 hits per nine, but pitching clutch is terrible. Don't like him either. Uh, Jose Altuve is probably the best pick uh, in this group. High vision, high clutch. High contact, power versus left, he's not the greatest. 68 fielding, does get the power boost with Devers. Uh, this is easily the best pick for most people that play this game. I don't want any of these. <laughs> I don't want any of them. And last, we got Cattell Marte, Ryan McMahon, Tyler Glasnow, Luis Arias, and Logan Webb. Uh, Logan Webb, ooh, man, too bad this wasn't the old one, but 87 hits per nine, not going to get it done. Walks per nine are good. Pitching clutch is terrible. Not it. Luis Arias, great contact, we already know. Decent, I mean, powers, you know, yeah. Great vision, great clutch. This is a very good card. Gives the Devers boost as well. I wouldn't mind picking this card and trying this card out. He might even have some playing time on the God Squad on the bench if I have some open slot that I don't need a boost for. Uh, Ryan McMahon, also high contact, high power. Uh, vision's high enough. 94 clutch. I mean, very good card. 94 clutch will be lower than the contact, but that's okay. 93 fielding. Great reaction. I mean, this card's very, very good. I like that one as well. Cattell Marte, 90, 125. Don't like the power versus right. Don't like the contact versus right. I know 90 is not too bad, but on higher difficulties like Hall of Fame or, or Legend, it's not the greatest, but he does have 110 clutch. So if you put him in the middle of the lineup, he's got more people in scoring position. That's going to definitely help this card a lot. 95 fielding, 64 speed. Doesn't really fit any of the boost. So that's another uh, L in my opinion, because I think the boosts are really you. I, you don't have to use the boost, but I mean, if you got a team, you might as well use it, have some fun with it. And Tyler Glass now, no, not it. I wish they would have Will Smith right here, man. Will Smith might have been my new catcher. I wish Will Smith would have been right there. Hopefully we get a Will Smith. That'd be great. But that is the end of that. So hopefully that helps you out on who you might want to use, who you might not want to use. Uh, be sure to like, follow, share the video, uh, and comment down below what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.